back to my channel. If you're new, welcome. My name is Christine. We're going to talk about my new bag and everything that I have inside it. So before we go ahead and dive into the video, make sure you hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. And let's go ahead and get started. So this is my Dior Bobby bag. I actually picked it up in Paris. If you missed my luxury haul, I'll go ahead and link it up in the corner, but I picked up a lot of goodies while I was in Paris. I've had this bag now for about a month and a half and I have been loving it. I usually have another strap on this bag, but I feel like the clean white is a really great summer bag and it's a smooth leather. It's like a creamy white color and so far I've had no issues with color transfer or anything like that. It goes with everything. I just love this bag so much. It has a really structured look, so I feel like it just really pulls together any outfit and it actually fits a lot of stuff in here as well so first thing that I have inside is actually a pair of sunglasses and this is not typical because usually I actually will wear my sunglasses on top of my head so I'll either have my sunglasses or my film camera inside not both ever so usually I have my sunglasses on top of my head and I'll have my film camera like inside my bag but lately I've been running out the door and not really shooting a lot of film anyway so I have my sunglasses in there right now and these sunglasses are actually from the Attico this is another piece I picked up while I was in Paris actually with Brandon the time before and I love these sunglasses they're kind of like a cool hexagonal shape and I wore it to a Nike event the other day and the Nike team loved it so I was like great so it comes with a nice little sleeve so this is great because it's nice and compact and fits really nicely into my bag and so hypothetically if I were to fit my phone camera in here it would go in just like that and so close it so this is a really really roomy bag so my phone camera that I have is the Olympus Niju this is something that I started shooting on a couple of months ago and I love this camera. I picked it up from Etsy. I'll go ahead and link some similar film cameras down below but if you guys want to see a video all about how I shoot film, loading the camera, maybe some like iPhone versus film photos, let me know. Next thing that I have in here is obviously my wallet. This is a Goyard wallet. Brian and I have matching ones. Another thing that I picked up while in Paris. I love this card holder. It's kind of like this navy blue color. It actually fits a good amount of cards in here. It's a very durable leather, which I really like. And I just feel like Goyard's one of those cool brands. You can only purchase them in Goyard stores. And so that kind of makes it kind of a more like exclusive brand, which I like. Next thing that I have is a little cash coin wallet. And then I also have like miscellaneous business cards, gift cards, and stuff like that in here. And I do have to carry both separately because obviously the card holder can't fit as much. This little wallet is actually a gift that I got from the Aritzia clientele. And I kind of just kept it because I like it, but maybe eventually I'll upgrade and get like a different coin wallet. But right now it does a job. Okay, next thing that I have in here is actually something that I just picked up that I'm really excited about. It's a flosser. <laughs> So it's actually a reusable flosser and it's from the brand called Quip and it's really cool because it's refillable and I just love it because Brian and I go through flossers so quickly and so often and I was talking about it in my teeth routine video about how wasteful it is and I literally just walked into Target and found it and I've been trying it out and I really like it. So it's just a little flosser that when you're done flossing, there's a little button here and you push it you can take out the floss and then inside there's like a little like flosser pod. You just pop it in and then you can refill your flosser from there. How amazing is that? And it comes with a mirror inside. So I feel like on the go, you can literally like do all this. Fits nicely into this little pod. So I love it. It's the brand called Quip. Another thing that I have in my bag is my AirPods. This is like a necessity. Sometimes I'm editing TikToks. Sometimes I'm watching TikToks on the go. So this is a must. I used to have a little case on it, but I feel like it's just so much cleaner and we want to maximize the space. Okay. So that's a necessity. I also recently picked up the AirPods Max. So it was like headphones and I've been really really loving mine i picked them up in the green color so if you guys want an in-depth like review video or something like that let me know next thing that i have in my bag is my keys i actually don't need keys for my tesla this is actually just keys for the house i have an apple air tag and this is great if i ever lose my keys it can like make a sound or alert my phone like where it is so it's just like useful to have nail clippers i used to not have nail clippers on my keys but this actually it's a game changer okay like if you're on the go and you have a hang nail you're just like trying to get it all day or back when i had natural nails and part of my nail would rip off but it wouldn't rip off like clean and it was all jaggedy put a nail clipper on your key set you will not regret it and then i also have pepper spray because you never know sometimes 
It's a little chonky, so I can actually separate it and just have my house keys and stuff like that separate, so. Next thing that I have, hand lotion. This is a must. I used to not carry hand lotion as well, but this is such a tiny little bubby, and it's just useful when your hands are dry, they're crackly. My nail girl, Christine, will literally DM me and tell me to put on cuticle oil because in my product photos, my hands always look so dry, so that's a must. I also have Pepsid with me. Pepsid is something that I take 30 minutes before I'm gonna have alcohol and it helps to prevent the Asian glow. So if you guys struggle with that, Pepsid Complete, like the chewy tablets are literally a game changer. So I just have like a ton of them in this little container. And these pill box containers is from a brand called Cadence. These are really cool because they're actually magnetic. So I actually have like eight different pods and you're supposed to put like vitamins supplements whatever miscellaneous things you want and they all magnetize together so it's great if you're traveling if you want to put like moisturizers or sunscreen in it it's great nearing the bottom I have my Bluetooth clicker this is great if you shoot on your iPhone and if you're shooting by yourself so I use this a lot while I was in Paris whenever I'm like out and about and I just want to take a quick outfit photo or TikTok it's just useful or even if you're with your friends and you don't want to like always have a tripod with you at least you have a clicker and you can like find a ledge and take your own photos you know so this is useful i picked it off amazon for a couple of dollars and i've had the same clicker now for years and years so that's just really useful and then last two things in my bag is lip balms i have my laneige glowy lip balm this is like one of the best chapsticks lip balms ever that never changes brennan always has one with him as well and then this is the clarins comfort lip oil this is actually really great because it helps to tint your lips i feel like throughout the day as my lipstick wears off more and more my lips just slowly start looking smaller and smaller and sometimes i'm so lazy to apply lip balm lip liner lipstick you know the deal so this is actually great because it actually tints my lips and adds that hydration and like gloss as well. So it just makes my lipstick plumper, adds a little bit of color back to the lips and it stains it as well. It stains it kind of like this pinky, nudie color and it lasts all day. So I almost always have one of these in my bags. If I'm switching to a different bag, I always carry this into the next bag. So that is everything that I have in my Dior Bobby bag. I really have been enjoying this bag so much and a lot of my recent style videos I styled this bag as well another thing about this bag that's really cool as well is because you can actually wear it as oops sorry I'm wearing sweatpants <laughs> you can actually wear it as a crossbody or a shoulder bag so it has like an adjusting strap right here but actually never really changed that on the back there's a strap right here that allows you to just slide and then you can wear it as a little shoulder bag how cute is that Anyways, I just wanted to film this video for you guys. I love watching these types of what's in my bag videos and I'll go ahead and link all the little knickknacks and miscellaneous things that I talked about down below in the description box. Let me know down below in the comments what you guys want to see next for me. If you enjoyed videos like this, make sure you give it a thumbs up so I know you want to see more like this. But that's all for today's video. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you all in the next one. Bye!